I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session. Sponsored by Everlast, I'm delighted as always to be joined by the big man himself, Big Fraser Clark. Fraser, not a bad way to start the year on a big card like this. Nah, lovely, lovely stuff. The start doesn't mean to go on, you know. Looking forward to it. Um, I'm looking forward to the main event. <laughs> I can't wait for the main event. Really good fight, so yeah, I'm happy to be here. I'll get your opinions on the main event at the end of the interview here, but I want to stay on you. Um, I can remember in Liverpool, you're quite upset with your opponent, because the opponent it never came to fight. It was small, you know, you know. We, we, we don't need to go into it. Now, this guy here, he's coming to fight. We've seen him fight. He's never been stopped before. So what does that do for you coming to like a fighter that's never been stopped? Does that give you the mindset to go in there and make a statement? No, just I just know that I need to be switched on. You know, from watching him, I do a little bit of homework. Need to be switched on. Need to be clever. Um, these are the opponents, you know. This is where the learning is done. So I expect it to come. I expect it to be tough. We'll see what happens. I mean, like I said to you, the heavyweight division, uh, the fans love it. The reason being is because we get to see big, dangerous knockouts. So, I mean, every heavyweight loves a knockout. Can we see something? Can, um, can we put a bet on big phrase knockout come come Saturday night? I never look for it, but if it comes, it comes. You know, you know, you know the score. Listen, we we'll go out there to box. If I do what I do and I do it well, it will get knocked out. Well, well, for you though, we've seen like Olympians and guys that have been in the GP squad for so long, they get fast tracked that little bit quicker than most guys. Obviously, you're, 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 I'm not going to say how old you are, but you're a lot older than Matty Harris over there as a young heavyweight coming through. Are you eager to get pushed on faster than most? Not really, I think I think the heavyweights are better as they're older, personally. I think, you know, when you get big, between that like 27 onwards, you, you really become a man and mature properly, not just physically, in here as well. So. I'm in a good place, feel good. 31 years old by the way, yeah, and the best looking 31 year old you've ever seen. I'm 40, so you're, you're, listen, you're, you're nine years old, I've got nine years on you, but yeah. I mean, like the heavyweight, the heavyweight division right now is on fire, but we, when you look at the guys, you know, again, you're young 30, but you look at the Tyson Furies, the Joshua's, the Usex, the Wilders, the Joyce's, the mid 30s to late 30s, maybe two or three fights left them. You're a young heavyweight in terms of fights. Yeah. We're needing that household name. Is that you? It's experience and time, you know. It's coming this year, I'm building, I'm building, I'm building. Um, that's why I always fight in January, so we can have a good year out of it. You know, you fight in February, everything becomes a little bit shorter and shorter. Fight in January, hopefully again in March, keep the ball rolling, you know, every eight weeks. I want to get out of there, I want to fight, I want to be active. That being said, what are you hoping for 2023? Four, five, six fights? If I can get five in, I'll be happy. If I get six in, even better. Uh, I'm already knocking on that door for the British title, you know what I mean? I mean, that's a, we all know who the British champion is, that's a, a, a good fight. So, um, is that sort of what you're aiming for? Are you aiming for these guys in the UK, like the Fabio Wardleys, maybe the big Johnny Fishers? Are you looking for these guys to have fights with in the July, sort of like summer, autumn time? I think Fabio Wardley will, might still be champion, you know, them, them kind of people, definitely. You know, um, me and Big Johnny, we got no need to fight. Johnny, my mate, you know what I mean? I've well, seen that, yeah, yeah. I love the Fishers, man. Uh, I love the family. I, I wouldn't want to fight him. And that's just that's just realistic, you know what I mean? But uh, Fabio Ward, definitely, you know, uh, he's a good fighter. Um, great fighter, actually. He really impressed me last time out, but, you know, I'm not making a beeline for him. I'm making a beeline for the British title, you know? And uh, so whoever's got it. You mentioned uh, the main event here, Chris Eubank and, and Liam Smith. I th that, might be a, that might be a reason to get an early knockout so you can get changed to get back ringside to watch it. So your opinion on the fight then? What a fight. Um, I think 50-50, I really do. Um, and I keep changing, well, I'm not changing my mind. I'm, st I'm still going with Liam Smith, but if, if Chris Eubank's going to get him, it might be now. It might be, this might be the time, but a really good one. I mean, I've got to get your opinion as well because it looks like Tyson Fury and Usyk is looking like March. Hopefully Saudi Arabia, hopefully we get that because we finally get an undisputed champion. Put you on the spot again then, big phrase. Hit me with it. Oh, um, I'm going to be a shit ass, you know, because I don't know. I really don't. And I usually have a good opinion, a good, good prediction on boxing fights, but that one there. The size matter? Always. Size matter? Always. But this guy is very, very, he's different. He's different. Usyk's different to all the heavyweights, so I just don't know, you know. I'm going to say, I'm going to say Fury, but you never know. Well, big phrase, I'll let you crack on. I know you got your public workout coming up, so I do appreciate your time. Thank you, mate. Thank you, mate. I'm going to 
to share something with y'all. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ballgame. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session.